my first AliExpress order of a guitar, like a custom guitar. So let's see what it's like. I put a bit of effort into choosing what I wanted out of it. Um, but you, but uh, you never know if they can get it right. I wanted a few custom changes on it, things like that. Seems to be packed pretty well. We've got lots of this styrofoam blocking in. I can see they already got one thing wrong. I asked for a uh, transparent black. That looks like a solid black. We'll see. Might be a burst, so it doesn't look like it. I got my request for the controls right, although they're a little bit lumped together there. It's a little bit bigger than I know one. It's a little bit heavier. I thought it would be quite light. That's good, it's got a bit of weight to it. But the box itself feels really light. So now I'm actually holding the guitar itself. It's got a bit of weight to it. There's a game in my face, There's the headstock. It's got a B on it for Benny. Rosewood fretboard, well, supposedly rosewood. Feels really nice, actually. Nice thread ends. No dot inlays, I didn't want any dot inlays, so didn't get any. It is all gloss black, which is a little bit sad. I can't really tell how many pieces it is then. Wow. I was expecting this to have Music Man pickups, but they have put humbuckers in, which is all right, the uh, pick guard is pretty rough. Um, yeah, humbuckers. This is, I don't know if you can tell, this is meant to be a, oh yeah, strap buttons on the back. That's a bit haphazard there. That is recessed in. I don't know if you can see that, but that's recessed in a bit. So that's not really the best. But this is a copy of an RD artist. Um, it's a base I've always wanted. Why did the pick come up like all the way up here? That's just weird. I'll have to compare it. This is one I've always wanted. So here we have it. It's got two humbuckers. A uh, three point bridge. Guide is a little bit rough, um, especially around here where he's got big blocks on it. Could have at least rounded the edges off. But it had the controls the way I wanted it two volume and two tone. Uh, over. And get a I don't know if you can see that, but there's a lip 
in the control cavity where they've routed it too deep and then they've put the control plate in and you can see the polish is kind of built up in the in there. Really shiny though. Quite a thick body as well. Set in neck. There we set in neck with a pin in the back. My own zero number, BB001. Can't tell what type of neck this is. Can I? Uh, might be a one piece neck, can't tell. That's the problem, I, I wanted it transparent so I could see what wood it was. So I like a bit of wood grain. But, um, not in this one. God, it's atrocious. <laughs> Just keep looking at it. It's not even close to the original. So I just noticed another thing that they forgot. I asked for a string through body, and uh, they haven't. But they didn't manage to do that, which is a little bit disappointing. Uh, so I'll have to have words with them about that. Uh, so far, it seems good, but it, it took them. Three, uh, a month and a half to actually start building this after I paid for it and then it took another month and a half to actually get finished and delivered to me and in which time I actually went out and I bought this one so now this is an actual Gibson one this is a what is it Chris Nova Nova Selic base This one here is a Chris Novoselic one. You can tell because it's got two Seymour Duncan single coils in it. And that's an actual Gibson. Different headstocks on them. This one here is a lot wider. Huge compared to the other one. The pickguard is a lot smaller on the Gibson one than it is on this Chibson knockoff one. Body is pretty close. It's actually a bit fatter, I think, on, on that one there. It's got a bit more of a waist to it. So you got that one there. So they're pretty close. I'm still a bit disappointed about some things, like the colour. I wanted a a a a, a transparent black so I can see the wood through it and I got a full gloss black yeah. pick card is a bit whack I might be able to salvage it save it but uh, that's pretty pretty rough so there we are. now I'll see how it how it plays have a good look over it so here we have it, it's all out of this box, it's all unwrapped, I've just trimmed it up, a little trim is still on the end here, and I'm just going over and giving it a good look over, um, it looks pretty smooth, uh, it feels a bit, a bit of a funny edge on the back here, very hard edges on this, um, usually they're a little bit more rounded off, but these are quite hard edges, they're not sharp, they're just very hard, uh, the only thing i found is there's like a little ding on the back here, um, it's not noticeable unless you're really looking for it, but it's probably just a little ding, which, considering the way I play basses, it's going to get scratched up anyway. Uh, yeah, it's just mostly the issues I have is with this pick guard. It's just awful. Um, I might remove it, or I might try and fix it myself. Uh, there's just a few things. Um, just comparing it with my other basses, the neck is actually quite thick. Uh, around the 12th fret. I think I measured it on my calipers at around 60, uh, 58, 58 millimeters. So 2 and 3 8 inches, or 50, what was it? 58 millimeters. So it's quite, it feels quite thick up here. Um, 
not a huge amount, but it's thicker than what I'm, I'm, I'm used to. Especially because the strings don't go all over the edge. It's a bit of quite a bit of fretboard on either side of the strings. Um, fretboard is actually really dry. Uh, they didn't. I don't think they oiled it. Um, well, they might have oiled it, but not enough. It just looks pretty dry compared to a lot of other bases I've played. Um, the, the polish is getting pretty uh, marked up with fingerprints all over it, just because well, I'm a greasy fingers all the time. Uh, but that's the thing about having these high gloss finishes. I'm a little bit annoyed about that, that it's not the colour I asked for. Um, I actually had a chat with the person, and I was trying to talk to the person about giving, keeping me clued in through the entire build process. Uh, but I basically got one message and one photo, and that was straight wood, uh, no, no pickups, it was just the neck on the body, no paint, nothing. And that's the only photo I got. Um, I will go through a list of all the things I asked for uh, in regards to building this base. So making a list is kind of important when you're ordering something like this, so, so you know exactly what you want to order. Um, it gives you all the details, all the specs. As much, go into as much detail as you possibly can, that way you know you've told them what you want and if there's something that isn't quite right, you can say, well look here, I've told you about this, so what's going on? Um, so this is my little list for it. I want to do a mahogany body and neck. I can't really see uh, through the paint. I don't have extra vision, but I'll have a look at the other photo I got um, that he sent me ages back. Uh, what was it? Set neck. Well, yeah, that's got set neck. That's cool. It's all uh, no neck plate, no obvious joint there. Well, there is an obvious joint, but um, you can't see it. No cracks in it, nothing like that. That's all good. Uh, it had Music Man pickups in the original picture I saw, um, but these are not. These are just uh, soap bars, like 35, EMT 35 style soap bars. So um, this is a pro because I've, I can get EMGs, I can get Simba Duncan black lines or blackouts, something whatever they're called. But I was looking forward to having some some uh, Music Man style humbuckers. Um, so there's a pro and a con there. Inlays, I got all the neck inlays removed, all the dot markers, I didn't want any dot markers on there. I have all the top ones, position markers, so you know where you are. And I don't have anything saying, uh, it doesn't say Gibson anywhere, it doesn't say made in the USA, it doesn't say made in China. It just has my little B logo up here. Get that out of the way. There's a little B on it. And on the back it says, I don't know if you can read it, it's got its own serial number, which says BB001. So uh, that's for me. So I know it's the first one I've ordered, which is probably a good thing. <laughs> the controls, I had the controls, the control layouts changed. I sent them a picture of an original uh, RD, yeah, the original 70s RD artist, which had the two volume, two tone, it also had two switches up here, which aren't uh, that way. Two switches up here, which aren't put on there um, because there is no active turbo. So one was a pickup selector, the other one was the a, a active tone selector, so you can get different compressor and you get something else, an exciter, compressor and an exciter. But um, none of that. I didn't worry about any of that. That's just uh, wouldn't work on this anyway, so I didn't worry. Um, I wanted a string through body. Now, the original RDs have a string through body, um, and I wanted one. Uh, it gives you more stability in the strings, so they say. Uh, I've only got one other base which has a string through body. Um, and uh, yeah, I was kind of looking forward to having that. I think the original picture had a string through. Uh, no, it doesn't. Um, but yeah, I, was, I wanted a string through body on this, so I could, you know, have a more original um, custom colour. I didn't get my colour right, I wanted a transparent black, so I could see the wood grain in there. Um, I kind of, I really liked having uh, that kind of 
grain through it. it. It just makes them look a little bit more exciting than a solid black base. Uh, I've got lots of solid black bases. I've actually got two of them right here. Um, you can see this. There's one, and there's another one right behind it. I asked for, I believe it was no more than a three piece body. Um, because, you know, they can kind of cobbledy goop all of them together to make one piece. They can glue five, six, seven pieces of wood together to make a guitar and it just degradates the, the strength of it. I said a three piece because then you can have like a Thunderbird, which is the body chunk and then both wings are stuck on either end. Um, so that's the idea I had behind saying I want a three piece body at least. Uh, at most, I should say, at least I wanted a one piece body. But because it's painted, I can't sell anymore. It's painted and polished to such a degree. Um, but they all do that. They all make them so shiny. Uh, I kind of don't like shiny bases. I would have asked for a matte black if I knew it was just going to be solid. But um, yeah, that didn't happen. Uh, I don't know. Do I have any other little uh, things I wanted to bring up? They said they posted it. And then two weeks later, they actually actually posted it, and they gave me a new tracking number for this. To uh, because the timeout, the timer on AliExpress was expiring, so they had two and a half months, and they'd already kind of got to the end of that, and they still needed more time. So they said it was posted, but it wasn't. Uh, just a little bit annoyed about that. And then I got a actual tracking number later on. But enough of that. I will get back to this, and I will show you what it sounds like. so far is the low end doesn't really have a huge amount to it especially when both pickups are full it kind of dulls it down it's like it's cancelling out on the low end high end's all right might just be my speakers setup is actually quite nice. Um, it's a little bit high on the top here uh, compared to what I'm used to but that's just lowering the bridge here that shouldn't be too hard. Doesn't buzz too much. Buzz a bit when you really bang into it. Then all bases do that. They're all my even my expensive ones will rattle at uh, when you thump into them because the strings are just bouncing around. Um, 
Tuners feel alright. They're just cheap tuners. Um, can't really go too wrong with base tuners because, uh, especially these open ones, because they are just beefy. They just have to be beefy. And uh, they don't usually slip and slide, I tend to find. I just crank them down with a crank them down again, and that stops you doing that. Um, there's a couple of little, not sharp ends, but you know, just rough ends. Um, some of these frets are a little bit chewed up on, if you little chews on. Uh, you know, like they've, they've been filed and they've kind of chewed it out a bit. Uh, it's just a really wide neck, it just feels really wide. As you come down here, the strings don't space out that far, but the neck does. So where you think the string is, it's not going to be there because the neck is so wide. It's like a five string neck almost down this end. It just feels weird. Uh, like a plank of wood. It's quite... It's quite thick. Um, I guess it's... It's about... Yeah, it's about the same thickness as the RD. The Chris Novoselic one, but it still feels quite thick for, uh, for what I'm used to. Um, I'm somewhat happy with it. Uh, that's what you get when you order a, a Chinese built base. You can only see if it'll last, whether the neck snaps off or whether it cracks here or cracks around the, the joints or things like that. Pick out has to be dealt with. That's just first and foremost. Um, Does it have a hum? It hums. So there's something going on there. There they are probably. They are just cheap pickups. I know that. Um, I do have an EMG in uh, at the back there, and another pickup. So I might see what I can do about those. Um, yeah, but inside it's pretty basic, straightforward. Um, looking at it, I can't tell if this is the top is a laminate. Uh, it's quite a a very nice edge all the way around. Um, I'm not saying that it is a laminate. I'm just, it's kind of a very smooth that edge all the way around. And so you can see, kind of see here. I didn't scratch any of this off, this is just how it came. But there's a few chunks of wood missing in there. They obviously had to drill it out to make things fit. I did kind of change the whole idea of how it was meant to look. The whole back compartment. So they've kind of done what they could. They probably just grabbed a, uh, a Les Paul shape and just stuck it on there. But um, yeah, pretty, pretty straightforward, pretty basic. These wires. Uh, what? Okay, that's an earth wire. Kind of just touches somewhere up there. That's your bridge wiring. What are they? AF? Something F? Uh, CF? Pots? All kind of mini pots. Uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty straightforward, pretty basic. Don't know if you can see that in the light there, where are we? Over here somewhere. Where my finger is as a dent. Trying to just see it there. That's like the only real one I've noticed. It's fingerprints get all over it, just smudgy fingerprints like that. All the time. So I don't like high gloss finishes. Um, but other than that, it looks pretty decent. Compared to that one. All the one behind it. I don't know as much, but they are still four or five times the price. 